And now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Anthony Dump. Okay, here we go. Certified most accurate forecast, everybody. Pella, windows and doors of Wisconsin. Kind of looking like Halloween out there and uh, feeling more like Halloween today versus yesterday when we got to 82 degrees. It's going to be mid-50s. That's all we run to on the thermometer on this Thursday. Green Bay at 45 degrees. Temperatures have been falling off recently and probably to drop back another few degrees before leveling off and then starting to ascend here through the mid to late morning. Appleton, 40 Three degrees looking down College Avenue. It is dry and uh, a number of locations did remain dry right on through yesterday evening. A number of locations did get some heavier downpours with thunderstorms, but all of that is gone now. Sunshine in full force for most hours. There are a few clouds out there we're noticing on the horizon. Some scattered stratocumulus clouds. And then by the time we go later this afternoon, these very thin, high cirrus types of clouds will be returning, perhaps obscuring some sun by the sun down there uh, just before 7 o'clock and that'll lead to increasing clouds overnight tonight. New chance for a shower, though nothing important overnight and into Friday. Current temperatures bringing down cooler air out of Canada. Look at those blue colors. We haven't seen them quite that blue this fall season yet, but uh, here it comes and uh, dropping us back for today. Though with the daily warming process and lots of sunshine, we will get back into the mid 50s. All the warm and humid air getting squashed out of the south and towards the east coast at least for now but it, there are signs that another surge of warm and perhaps more humid air is going to be returning early next work week temps on the board low to mid 40s for most even the lakeshore now dropping back several degrees more like mid to upper 40s for you 55 here in green bay this afternoon now the clouds increase overnight tonight little spotty shower by daybreak tomorrow morning again light stuff and uh, most of tomorrow i think is actually going to turn out rain free Lots of clouds around, though, on Friday. It'll be tomorrow evening into the very early hours of Saturday. A surface low pressure system coming out of Iowa, passing just to our south, coupled with favorable upper-level dynamics, uh, likely to give us a period of showers and perhaps some heavier ones, especially Green Bay and southward overnight Friday into early Saturday. Though most of Saturday and Sunday probably to turn out dry. Temperatures just on the cool side. Then we turn the corner back into the 70s. We have this ridge of high pressure over the mid-Atlantic states. Uh, and you get that clockwise flow around it. That's going to be driving up southerly winds early next week, and temperatures can go well above normal once again. But that's not the case for today. We've got a northwest flow out of Canada dropping us back with these temps. Now, I scroll over towards the desert southwest. There is some upper-level energy there, and that is quickly going to be moving across the central and uh, northern tier of states through the day today and overnight tonight gives us the spotty shower chance for tomorrow. Look at these northwest winds still blowing out there around uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour, even some gusts of 25 or so, but uh, starting to come down a bit this afternoon. The model showing sustained winds around 7 miles per hour early this afternoon. I think that's a little underdone. I think we're a little bit breezier than that, but the overall trend is for the winds to back off. We're seeing a few of these clouds out there to start. I think by mid to late morning, those skies are completely blue. And then uh, once we get into the latter afternoon, Afternoon hours. Here come some of those higher level cirrus clouds, uh, the front running clouds of a new system, a weak one though, that could bring us a shower overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Seven day planner. Let's take a look at that. There's a lot of rain chances out there now. It's not going to be raining at all times over the next seven days, but there will be some heavier bouts. I think one tomorrow evening, very early Saturday. And though there could be some additional showers later Saturday evening into early Sunday, I think many hours of the weekend are dry. Early next week, though, Shelley, with temperatures back into the 70s, we're going to be pushing mid-October at that time and could have some thunderstorms returning as that uh, humid air comes back into northeast Wisconsin. Kagan, allergy report, mold and pollen look a little bit better recently with regards to that. The weather app, you want to download it because there's going to be more precip showing up on the radar screen somehow. We only got a trace of rainfall yesterday in Green Bay, but the other spots, a little bit more. So looking at that seven-day planner, it looks like today is the day. If you want to get out and enjoy some sunshine, do it today. Hey, no doubt about it. There's going to be a lot of clouds starting tomorrow, uh, Shelly, and going into the weekend. All right. Thanks a lot, yeah. Anthony. And time now for our...